season inside the circle. An ERA of 3.2 so far this year. And when Cavett gets a hold of that one, back to the wall, it's gone. Peyton Lynn Cavett with a solo home run to start this one off for the Scarlet Knights. Michigan State quickly finds itself behind by nothing in what is a huge turn of events. At first, Michigan State thought they had the batter out. And a pop fly to the left side. Two strikeouts on the day. Oh, here's a shot by Workman, deep left center. Does it have enough? It hit the top of the fence, it's staying in the park. This one being ran down out there and left by Joe Bart. She's able to pick it up, fire to third. Trouble with it at third, it bounces off Barossa's glove. In all the chaos, Workman will stand in with a double. That could have went wrong in so many different ways for Michigan State, but nonetheless, it just ends up with a double sign. Well, swing and miss as Baruli gets out of the jam. And that will do it for the third. Rucker still leads at one to nothing. Letizia Banks on the base percentage and the second best batting average in the state. Something that this staff has talked about with Jayla Wright. They say the drop ball she has is one of the best they have seen at this time. Next, and the top of the order is going to be down. There's a swing and miss there by Heather Joseph. She'll head back to the duck out. 